I almost feel like no matter what, how much information we have coming in until we figure out how do you make sense of it and how do you get it into the hands of the, 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 the people who are going to make that decision, you know, myself as the person listening to it, that's an easy one. Then how do you get it into the hands of the clinicians? How do you get it uh, in, in a way that patients can understand what the ramifications are so that they can be part of that decision? It's almost meaningless. So uh, it's, it's the, this, you know, step one was creating all of this information. Step two is once you've captured it, now let's make it meaningful and usable. Right. I, I, yes, exactly. I, and I think, you know, s- some of it is not going to be um, intuitive, not going to be something that you can readily explain to anyone. Uh, in fact, there is a whole, uh, and, and only understandable, only arrived at, not understandable, but un- arrived at using artificial intelligence. So a non-intuitive, just tr- trial and error of millions and millions and millions of, of data points until uh, some links are made and it's non-intuitive. Uh, and then, and, and out pops guidance uh, that you may not necessarily, you can perhaps go back and understand the bi- biology of it and study it, but there's a whole discipline now of AI explaining, explaining to do uh, to GPs who are being given algorithms, algorithm generated guidance, and they have to understand, everyone wants to understand, how did we get here? And on what basis would I give this to my patient? So we're, we're going through a revolution in thinking. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going through a period where we're, we're not trusting of AI, and we see it as menacing. But I, I think we, we're also understanding uh, that it has a power uh, that we, we should harness for the good. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, anything out there can be uh, for good or for bad. I think there's an opportunity for us to grab it. But what we what it needs to feed on is data. And that's what Exactus has and is offering to all of our colleagues across the country is scale, is to get uh, as big as possible in the data uh, world so that the AI can actually make sense of it and our patients can get the very best treatment.